In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this crochet snowflake applique. And I used a four ply worsted weight acrylic yarn to make the snowflake. And the crochet hook size that I used to make the snowflake was a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started and I will show you how to make this snowflake applique. To make the snowflake, I'm going to use four ply worsted weight acrylic yarn and the crochet hook size that I'm going to use is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And this is the crochet hook size that is recommended for the yarn that I am using. I am going to start with a slip knot. And then I am going to chain five chains. And then join with a slip stitch to the first chain to form a little ring or a circle. And when I work round one, I'm going to work my stitches into the center of this little circle here. And then to start round one, I am going to chain three chains. This chain three will count as a stitch. It is going to count as a double crochet. And then I am going to do a double crochet into the center circle. And now I have two stitches. So I have two double crochets since I am going to count this first chain three as a double crochet. So there's the two double crochets, chain two, and then two double crochets into the center circle and then chain two and then two double crochets into the circle chain two Then two double crochets, chain two, and then two double crochets, and then chain two, and then two double crochets. And then chain two and then I'm going to join to that third chain so when I first started the round I did a chain three so into that top third chain I am going to join with a slip stitch and that completes round one when you're done with round one you should have six sets of two double crochets and six chain two spaces technically you'll have a chain three and a double crochet for the first group but since i count that as a double crochet you'll have six sets of two double crochets and six chain two spaces okay so that completes round one for round two i'm going to start by chaining four chains These four chains, this will count as a double crochet and a chain one. So the first three chains will count as a double crochet. And then this fourth chain will be the chain one. And then I'm going to do a double crochet into the top of the next stitch. And then I'm going to chain three. And then slip stitch into this chain two space that chain two space is the chain two space from the previous round that's in between the groups of two double crochets so into that chain two space i will do a slip stitch and then chain three and then i'm going to do a double crochet into the next stitch And then chain one and then double crochet into the next stitch and then chain three 
and then slip stitch into that chain two space the chain two space is the chain space that's in between the groups of double crochets from the first round so into that chain two space slip stitch and then chain three and then double crochet into the next stitch chain one and double crochet into the next stitch and then chain three slip stitch into the chain two space chain three and then double crochet into the next stitch chain one and then double crochet into the next stitch here and then chain three slip stitch into the chain two space and then chain three and then double crochet into the next stitch chain one and then double crochet into the next stitch chain three slip stitch into the chain two space and then chain three double crochet into the next stitch then chain one and then double crochet into this last stitch and the last stitch is just before that chain two space and then into this chain two space so what I'm going to do so then I have one chain two space left so now I'm going to chain three slip stitch into that chain two space then chain three and then I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the third chain so when I first started round two I did four chains so I'm going to count up one two three into the third chain I will do a slip stitch and join okay that completes round two and that's what it should look like so far for round three I'm going to start by slip stitching into this chain one space and then chain three and then slip stitch into the chain one space and then chain five and then slip stitch into that same chain one space and then chain three and then slip stitch into that same chain one space and that's what it looks like so far so all of this was worked into the chain one space in between the double crochets so just to recap what i did I began the round by slip stitching into that chain one space in between the double crochets then I did a chain of three and slip stitch back into the chain one space and then I chained five chains and did a slip stitch back into the chain one space and then I did a chain of three and did a slip stitch right back into that chain one space and I will work all of the chain one spaces the same way not the chain three spaces the chain one spaces that are in between the double crochets i will do the same thing for each one of those okay so now that i've finished working into the first chain one space i am then going to do a slip stitch into this chain three space here and then chain three and then a slip stitch into the chain three space chain three space that's before these two double crochets here so do a slip stitch into that chain three space so that's what it should look like so far and then here's the two double crochets with the chain one space in between I'm going to do the same thing I did over here so to begin you find your two double crochets and then find your chain one space 
do a slip stitch into the chain one space and then chain three chains and then slip stitch into the chain one space and then chain five chains and then slip stitch back into that chain one space that's in between the two double crochets from the previous round and then chain three and then slip stitch right back into that chain one space that's in between the two double crochets from the previous round so just to recap again here's the two double crochets from round two there's a chain one space in between the double crochets so into the chain one space I start by doing a slip stitch into the chain one space chain three slip stitch back into the chain one space chain five slip stitch back into the chain one space chain three and slip stitch right back into the chain one space now here's the chain three space you just do a slip stitch right into that space and then chain three and then here's a chain three space that's before the next set of double crochets with the chain one space here so into this chain three space just do a slip stitch now here's the double crochets from round two with that chain one space in between so now i'm going to work into the chain one space so to begin slip stitch into the chain one space chain three slip stitch into the chain one space chain five slip stitch into the chain one space again chain three slip stitch into the chain one space again and then here's your chain three space I'm going to just do a slip stitch into that chain three space and then chain three slip stitch into the next chain three space and then here's the double crochets again with the chain one space so I'm going to do the same thing I did for the other chain one spaces. I will start by doing a slip stitch into the chain one space, chain three, slip stitch into the chain one space, and then chain five, slip stitch into the chain one space, chain three, and then slip stitch into that chain one space again and then here's your chain three space slip stitch into the chain three space and then chain three slip stitch into the next chain three space and then here's your double crochet your chain one double crochet into the chain one space between the double crochets slip stitch and then chain three slip stitch into the chain one space chain five and then slip stitch into the chain one space again chain three slip stitch into that chain one space and then here's your chain three space I will do a slip stitch into the chain three space chain three and then slip stitch into the next chain three space and then here's your double crochets with the chain one space again and this this is the last chain one space for this round so now into the chain one space I am going to start with a slip stitch chain three and then slip stitch into the chain one space and then chain five and then slip stitch again into the chain one space and then chain three and then slip stitch again into that chain one space and then slip stitch into this chain three space chain three 
slip stitch into this last chain three spaces around and then join with the slip stitch to the top of this stitch here so this is the stitch when i first started round two we're on round three now but in the previous round i did a chain of four so into that third chain at the top there join with a slip stitch and then i'm just gonna cut the yarn so i can fasten off and then yarn over and pull that through and then all you need to do is weave in your ends and then that's what it will look like when you're finished weaving in your ends i want to thank you for watching and have a great day